As autumn deepens, the landscape transforms before our eyes. Trees shed their leaves, painting city parks and rural countrysides in vibrant shades of gold and red. The days grow shorter, and a sense of anticipation fills the air. And as the air turns crisp, we begin to feel the first hints of winter's approach. Mornings greet us with frost on the grass, and people bundle up in scarves and coats bracing for the colder days ahead. We all wonder, what will this winter bring? Will it be mild and manageable, or harsh and unpredictable? The uncertainty lingers, affecting our daily routines and long-term plans. Winter means different things to different people, cozy firesides and family gatherings, magical snowfalls, or, for some, travel headaches and the challenge of keeping roads clear and homes warm. That's where long-range weather forecasting comes in. It's our best tool for peering into the season ahead, offering a glimpse of what's to come so we can prepare, adapt, and make informed decisions. Long-range forecasts aren't about pinpointing the exact day of a snowstorm. Instead, they help us identify the big patterns, the atmospheric trends and climate signals that will shape the months to come across the continent. These forecasts matter. They help families plan winter holidays, decide when to travel, and even what to pack for the season. They guide governments in preparing roads, allocating resources, and keeping communities safe during severe weather events. And they let businesses, from ski resorts in the Alps to shipping companies navigating icy ports, strategize and adapt their operations for what's ahead, minimizing risks and maximizing opportunities. This winter outlook is like a roadmap built from the latest climate models, sea surface temperature readings, and key climate drivers such as the North Atlantic Oscillation, which can tip the balance toward colder or milder conditions. We're searching for signals, clues from the atmosphere and oceans, to anticipate temperature and precipitation trends across Europe, from the UK to Scandinavia, and beyond. It's about understanding probabilities, not certainties. The forecast is a living picture, constantly evolving as new data comes in and patterns shift. As we break down the forecast for the UK, Scandinavia, and the European mainland, remember? Preparation starts with understanding the big picture and staying informed as the season unfolds. So, let's dive into what the data is telling us for the coming winter, exploring the trends and signals that will shape our experience. Join me as we explore the dominant themes and key factors shaping Europe's winter ahead, and discover how you can be ready for whatever the season brings. To forecast Europe's winter, we start with the global drivers. These large-scale atmospheric and oceanic patterns set the stage for everything that unfolds across the continent, shaping not just the temperature, but also the frequency and intensity of storms, snowfall, and cold snaps. A developing weak La Nina in the Pacific is set to influence jet stream patterns, often leading to more blocked weather in Europe, especially later in winter. La Nina typically shifts global weather patterns and for Europe, this can mean a jet stream that meanders more, allowing for prolonged periods of certain weather types, be it wet, stormy, or cold. The North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, is another key player. A negative or neutral NAO, as models suggest for this winter, means a weaker jet stream and more cold air slipping south. This pattern often brings increased chances of snow and cold outbreaks, especially in Central and Southern Europe, as Arctic air is funneled down from the north. Warmer than average water southeast of Greenland, the warm blob could encourage high pressure ridges, further blocking the usual west to east flow. This warm anomaly acts like a roadblock in the atmosphere, forcing storms to take unusual paths, and sometimes stalling weather systems over Europe for days or even weeks. This blocking can redirect storms and open the door for frigid air from the north and east. As a result, regions that are typically milder may experience sudden plunges in temperature, while others could see repeated rounds of heavy snowfall and blustery winds. The stratospheric polar vortex is also on our radar. If it weakens or splits, lobes of Arctic air could surge into Europe. Such disruptions can trigger dramatic cold spells, sometimes lasting for weeks, and are often responsible for the most memorable winter weather events. Early signs point to a possible mid-winter disruption, increasing the risk of significant cold snaps. These events can catch cities off guard, leading to travel chaos, power outages, and challenges for infrastructure and daily life. When you combine La Nina, a negative NAO, and the Atlantic warm blob, the stage is set for memorable winter weather. 
The interplay between these factors could bring both intense storms and periods of deep freeze, making this winter one to watch closely. These ingredients suggest a season of shifting patterns and potential extremes. Expect rapid changes, from tranquil, snowy scenes to sudden, severe storms, sometimes within just a few days. Europe should brace for a dynamic winter, with the potential for both stormy and frigid periods. Residents and authorities alike should stay alert, as the weather could swing quickly between calm and chaos. Let's see how these drivers will play out across the continent and what they could mean for your region in the months ahead. For Northern Europe, Scandinavia, the Baltics and Northern UK, this winter promises to be a story of two distinct halves, each with its own challenges and surprises. Residents from Stockholm to Tallinn, Oslo to Edinburgh, should brace themselves for a season that refuses to settle into a single pattern. Early winter, stretching from late November through December, will be dominated by stormy, unsettled weather. Expect frequent rain, gusty winds, and above-average temperatures, especially in the lowlands. Instead of the usual early snow, many cities will see more rain than flakes, with puddles replacing snowdrifts on city streets. But as the calendar turns to the new year, a dramatic shift is on the horizon. A negative NAO, combined with high-latitude blocking, will alter the atmospheric setup, steering the weather in a new direction. Cold air masses from the east and northeast will surge across the region, sending temperatures tumbling and raising the risk of prolonged cold spells. The wind will bite, and icy gusts will sweep through both cities and countryside. Snowfall will ramp up in January and beyond, especially for Oslo, Stockholm, and Helsinki. Ski resorts will celebrate the fresh powder, drawing winter sports enthusiasts, but city dwellers will face the challenges of heavy snow and icy roads. The northern UK and Ireland will experience wild swings, early winter storms, with wind and rain, followed by a dramatic battle between milder Atlantic air and frigid continental cold. Each week could bring a new weather twist. Even a slight shift in the high pressure block could mean the difference between a rainy afternoon, a sudden snowstorm, or a crisp, clear winter day. The weather will keep everyone guessing. Prepare for a season of rapid changes, dramatic temperature swings, and weather surprises that could arrive with little warning. Flexibility will be key for travel and daily plans. Northern Europe should be ready for both a stormy start and a wintry snow-filled finish, a true tale of storms and shifting temperatures. Western Europe, France, Germany, Benelux and the southern UK will be the main battleground this winter. Early on the Atlantic dominates expect a mild, wet November and December, with little chance of a white Christmas. As winter progresses, a negative NAO and weaker jet stream will allow cold air from the east to challenge the Atlantic's grip. This means sharp temperature swings, mild damp spells could be followed by sudden freezes. When cold air meets Atlantic moisture, the risk of major snow and ice events rises, especially in northern France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and western Germany. These events could disrupt travel and daily life, with airports and roads at risk of closure. For farmers, the mild start helps crops, but sudden freezes without snow cover could cause winter kill. Fruit trees are vulnerable to early budding followed by frost. Vigilance and flexibility will be key for both residents and agriculture. Western Europe faces a winter of contrasts, prepare for anything. Southern Europe and the Mediterranean will see a different story, one of enhanced storminess and moisture. With the main storm track pushed south, Spain, Portugal, Italy and the Balkans can expect a wetter than average winter, especially early on. This brings relief from drought but also raises the risk of flooding and landslides, particularly in river valleys and hilly terrain. The Pyrenees, Sierra Nevada, Alps, and Apennines will benefit from heavy snow, boosting water reserves and ski industries. Further east, Greece and Turkey will see alternating wet spells and sharp cold snaps. The overall theme, more rain, more snow, and a crucial opportunity to replenish water supplies. In Eastern Europe, Poland, Ukraine, Western Russia, the forecast is for a classic, harsh winter. Blocking patterns will weaken westerly winds, letting Siberian cold surge westward. December starts near average, but January and February bring repeated Arctic outbreaks and prolonged deep freezes. Cities like Warsaw, Kiev, and Moscow should brace for weeks of sub-freezing temperatures and dangerous wind chills. Snowfall may not be heavy, but persistent cold will keep snow cover in place, reinforcing the chill. 
the energy sector will be under pressure as heating demand soars, testing grids and supply chains. Governments must ensure energy reserves and infrastructure are ready for peak loads. Residents should prepare for high heating bills and insulate homes against the deep freeze. This winter will test resilience across Eastern Europe. The Siberian bear is set to make its presence felt. This winter's weather will disrupt daily life across Europe. In the north and west, snow and ice could snarl airports and roads. Major hubs like Frankfurt and Heathrow must be ready. Eastern Europe faces the challenge of enduring severe persistent cold, with risks of frostbite, frozen soil, frozen pipes, and increased energy needs. Southern Europe must manage flooding and landslides from heavy rain, testing urban drainage and emergency services. Power grids everywhere will be strained by storms, snow, and cold. Outages are a real risk. Individuals should prepare emergency kits and stay informed. Utility companies need crews on standby for rapid response. Infrastructure resilience will be a defining theme this winter. Preparation and vigilance are essential for everyone. Agriculture and energy will be under pressure this winter. Western Europe's crops face the threat of flash freezes after a mild start, while Mediterranean farmers must guard against flooding and frost. Olive and citrus growers are especially vulnerable to sudden cold snaps. The energy sector will see high demand especially in the east, pushing up prices and testing supply networks. Wind power will benefit from early storms, but high-pressure cold spells can stall turbines and cover solar panels with snow. Balancing energy supply and demand will be a major challenge. Farmers and utilities alike must stay alert and adaptable. This winter will demand flexibility and resilience from all sectors. The signals point to a winter of contrasts and challenges across Europe. Expect a mild, wet start for many, then a colder, more demanding second half, especially from January onward. Preparation is key. Municipalities should review snow plans, and homeowners should check heating systems. Long-range forecasts offer guidance but the atmosphere will keep evolving. Stay informed, adapt as needed, and take proactive steps to minimize disruption. This winter will test our resilience, but understanding the risks is the first step to staying safe. Check your supplies, monitor the forecast, and be ready for a dynamic season. Together, we'll weather whatever this winter brings.